Okay, so I'm back, and let's challenge Rourke, the Orberg's Pokemon gym. I'm Rourke, the gym leader. I'm but one trainer who decided to walk proudly with rock-type Pokemon. As the gym leader, I need to see your potential as a trainer, and I'll need to see that the toughness of that Pokemon that battle with you. Yeah. It's pretty retarded. But anyways, we have to battle him. So he starts out with his Geodude, like, as predicted. And we're going to take him out with a simple Mega Drain. Well, actually not simple. I was going to say Absorb, but then I decided to do Mega Drain. So I just said Mega Drain. That wasn't really simple, but who cares? Okay. Nobody really cares. So... Anyways, Rourke, the gym leader of Orberg City, has a g level 12 Geodude, which is rock and ground type, and a level 12 Onyx, which is rock and ground type, and a level 14 Kranidos, which is just rock. So, he's gonna send in Onyx, which was most likely predicted. So, I'm going to switch out to Shoop -de -woop. And he's probably gonna actually evolve on Onyx because I'm have over half PP. I'm mean, not PP. I'm experience full, and I own and I got that just from a level eight Onyx, and this is a level twelve Onyx, so it should be good. Use a bubble. Just make it simple, nice and simple. I love I love simple things. Yay! Oh man, rock throw. But who cares? Didn't do that much damage. Just a rock type. Okay, whatever. Okay. <laughs> So, just use- what? Damn, special defense. <laughs> and... Of course. I was just gonna use a pound. Which doesn't do much, so much damage. No! God. Okay, anyways. I cannot- Wait, I don't even know what I was about to say, but anyways, Screech retarded just re uh, lowers my defense. But anyways, he's gonna die now, because he sucks. And... Yay, level up. I'm not gonna evolve till the battle's over, though, because it doesn't work like that. Keep battling. And I'm just gonna end up using two bubbles, which is probably gonna kill it. Uh, bubble? I know one bubble won't kill it because um, one bubble didn't kill a level 12 Onyx, so obviously level 14 Kranidos is gonna take two bubbles. And see there, it might actually even take three bubbles. If he's, if he's lucky. I mean, like, seriously. Oh man. Anyways, you better die, you stupid Kranidos. Yes! Good. Oh, critical hit. That ensured my victory. Yeah. I'm bored. Yes. Finally. Okay, so we got 1,680 Poké Dollars. That's actually a lot of money. And here we go, Piplup is evolving. Shoop de whoop is evolving. And as you can see, a really cool evolution graphics. It's I love it. So congratulations, your shoop de whoop evolved into Printplup. Which its still names is still gonna be Shoop de Whoop. But it's just gonna be a push print plup. And Shoop de Whoop wants to learn Medical, but it already knows four moves. Should a move be deleted? Of course, Metal Claw is pro. Gonna get rid of pan a uh, growl. Not what am I thinking? Pound. Getting rid of growl. Anyways, <laughs> Shoop de Whoop forgot how to use growl, and Shoop de Whoop learned Metal Claw. Nice. And here we go. He's giving us a gym badge. 
So we receive the coal badge from Rourke, the Orberg City gym leader. And now we can use Rock Smash outside of battle. You sh and he's also going to give us, I believe it's Rock Slide? Oh, Stealth Rock. I thought it was Rock Slide. But Stealth Rock is really a good move for Wi Fi battles, so you're gonna wanna hold on to it and not use it for now. So I believe that gives us two, eight, two TMs and one HM to our collection. Let in. Let's look at a collection. Uh, oh. What happened to the move? Wait, did we even get it? I don't know, but anyways. Let's see. We have... So, wait. Be right back and I will show you the gym badge in a second. Okay, so these are the gym leaders of Vork. Um, I forgot. <laughs> Whatever. So... Let's look at a badge. Right there, the coal badge. Whenever you click on it, it makes a noise. And you could also rub it to make stars appear. It's pretty cool. I believe you could do that. Oh, yep, you can. The more you rub it, the more stars appear. I believe you can only get up to four stars. So, that's pretty good. That was our first gym leader in this game, Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. So I guess that's enough for now. So, see you back at the top screen. Okay, so, um, let's exit. And let's show you my new shoot to whoop. There we go. Middle Lake Verity. Uh -huh. Nose, Pound, Metaclaw, Bubble, and Peck. Pretty decent moveset for now. But, we're going to have to teach Rock Smash to somebody. But, we're not doing that yet. Of course. Because we're not ready yet. Anyways, there's a trade in town that you could do for where you could get, where you could catch a matchup, and then you could trade it for a Abra. Um, that is the first in-game trade, and it's pretty good, but I'm not going to be doing it. But anyways, did we get, yep, we didn't get the items, but, um, there's items up here, and we're going to get those items. And I also want to catch a match up, but I'm not going to be trading it, I just want to have it for Rock Smash. For now. Nope. Okay, so we're gonna, wait. What the hell? Okay, here we go. Go for absorb. We don't really need to do this, but I just feel like doing it. So, yeah, this episode is almost over. And we found a Pokeball. Let's... That's helpful, I guess. And if... Stupid game. <sighs> okay, anyways. You find another Pokeball. That's helpful, I guess. And hopefully be match up, match up, match up. Oh, no. No match up. No match up. But... Anyways, let's see. Wait one second. <gasps> In this area, you could find a Judo 55% of the time, a matchup 35% of the time, and a Quick Tot 10% of the time. As you see, Quick Tots are actually kind of rare over here. And we found another Geodude. Hate Geodudes. And gonna go as 
actually nine. Absorb. Oh, sorry about that. No, that was probably really loud for you guys. And I have a headache for some reason. Okay. <laughs> okay, stop talking. Come on, my chop. Up here before me. Okay, come on. Okay, yay! Okay. Yes, finally, a Machop. Uh, I kind of like the Machop sprite in this game. It's pretty cool. But, anyways, let's try and catch it. Go for a stun score. Just stun it, it'll make it easier to get. I think. Um. Go to switch out to Mr. Slave so he won't do much damage. Um. Of course, he uses Leer. But who cares? Um. Gonna go for a quick attack. I believe fighting type is super effective against normal type, so it won't do that much damage. Um, I'm going to try and catch it now. It's probably not going to work, but I'm just going to try. I'm going to use those two Pokeballs that I found. Oh, that was good. The only one shot. Ah, oh, pretty good. Now we can teach it Rock Smash and progress into the game. But before we do that, we're going to be doing something else. Arn. There we go. Gotta check out his pro name in a second. After one second. I'll show you his awesome name in one second. So... So let's look at Machop's awesome name. He is slave two. Slave number two. Slavey slave slave. And he only knows low kick and leer, so yes, enough room. So we're gonna get out our Rock Smash HM and teach it to him. And HMs are unlimited, like TMs, and it kind of like how TMs and HMs are unlimited in black and white, but in games before those, we're in ge in one, two, three, and four generation, TMs are not unlimited. They only have one use. Wait, did I even teach it to him? And HMs are unlimited. Oh, it's learned. Okay, that's good. Good. Okay. So, now we are going to head back to Jubilife City. After we check out the Pokemon. Because, as you may know, after you defeat a gym leader, more items become available in Pokemarts. So, Super Potions. We're going to get four because we only have one. And don't need any Pokeballs. Escape rope. I have one, so I should be fine. Repels are always good. I'm going to <laughs> just get four. So I could have five, because I already have one. For some reason, I like to have five of everything. If I don't need it that much, but I still want it. Then I like to have five of it. <laughs> 
So anyways, it, oh, I should show you where the trade is before we head on. I believe if you talk to this person, yep. I'm not going to trade it. Well, actually, I I have an idea. I'm just going to save it right here. And then I'm just going to trade it and I'm just going to and I'm just to show you, but then I'm going to reset. And it should come out all good. Hopefully, please. So this is the trading sequence. Well, you can't see the bottom screen, but it has the sprite of a chop, and it goes into a pokeball. And there's a screen, and the pokeball is on it, and it's going up, and you can see that now. And then it goes up into the sky, and you can't see it anymore. And then comes down Abra and its own Pokeball. And then it shows up in a screen, which you can see that this time. And it comes out of the Pokeball. Yay, now we have an Abra, but I'm going to reset this. Okay, so let's see. Yep, like it never happened. So anyways, what we're going to want to do is we're just going to go back to Google Life City. Oh, man. Oh, man. I think it's a viral battle. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, yeah. He's just telling you where we have to go. I don't think this... Is this a battle? No, it's not a battle. Okay, good. Just keep going. Yeah, um, I'm going to show you guys Rock Smash. Of course. Stupid me. No! I wanted to run. God. Oh. Uh. I'm gonna use that rep one of those repels that I just bought. Oh yeah, yeah. Um can't forget to set up a repel. And I forgot to sell the stardust. Okay. So you're gonna wanna go down here. Go down like this. This way you get the least amount of grass unless you're looking for a fight. So then, of course we have to sell the Stardust first because I forgot to. But we're not going to be progressing just yet. Oh wait, no, no. I have to sell Stardust. It should. Oh, it gives us a thousand. That's pretty good. And is there anything else that we could sell? Defend. I don't need any. Well, I. Well, I don't want them because I really, honestly, do not care. And I should still keep these two because I don't have anything yet. So, anyways, go down here. And we're go I'm going to show you guys the GTS. Which is another form of training. Normally, earlier, if you came through here, then this guy would stop you in your tracks. And he would tell you that you need your first gym badge to go here. So that's what we did. We got the first gym badge, and now we can go here. If you want to, you can go into that video, and I believe there's someone will give you something, but I really don't care. I don't think it's anything good anyways. But anyways, this is the GTS. If I could actually do anything with this thing, it should. Oh, here we go. So anyways, this is the GTS. 
this. Okay, I. S how many times do I have to say this is a GTS? Anyways, so at the GTS, it's another way of trading. You see, you could deposit one of your Pokemon in here, and whenever so someone want, if someone wants your Pokemon, then they could come on and they could search and they could find your Pokemon, and if they have what you want, then you get a trade. And as well, oh wait, we can't do this because. I don't have Wi-Fi at the moment, but um, you could also search for Pokemon, just like how I told you other people would search for your Pokemon. You could search for any Pokemon that you want, and if you find it, and if you find it and you have the Pokemon that the person wants for it, then you gotta trade. And well, so. You can only search for Pokemon that are in your own Pokedex. So in order to do So in order to get a Pokemon that you want, you have to have seen it before. So anyways, just go up here and I'll trigger a uh, cutscene and just mash down the A button. Just keep mashing, 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 mashing. And here we go. It's a really easy battle, not even kidding. It's just these two Pokemon. And I really should switch out. I have to start training Mr. Slave, so I'm going to get him out, and he is going to fight. Oh, why didn't you zit it on Whirlpool? Then it would die. Oh. So, we're gonna go for a quick attack on Zubat because it's already weakens, weakened, so hopefully we could kill it and get the experience. Oh. Oh, it used Ember on Zubat again? Uh Anyways, just keep fighting. Yay, level 9, wing attack. Oh, that's awesome! Now I could fight the worm pole pretty easy, and it could die by my hand. I guess. Wing attack on worm pole. Yay. Oh no, it's probably gonna die now, anyways. Because of the stupid char man. Chimchar. No, I was supposed to get. That. Wait, I still got. I think I still got the experience anyway, so I don't care. <laughs> yep. Wait. Oh. Oh yeah. Good. So I still get the experience. That's pretty good. And then it's pretty much over. So. Just keep talking to them, talking to them, talking to them. Just mash down A. Ugh. There we go. And now it's over. And I think so. Yep, this guy comes up. And he gives you some fashion case or something, which I'm not going to use. Yep, I was right. The fashion case. But anyways, he should walk away now. Seriously, walk away. Stop talking to me. Shut up. Okay, good. I hate talking. Anyways, I guess this is a... I'm going to call it for an episode. Anyways. I'm going to... What? <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm going to do some off-screen training. So, when you get back but when I'm back and when you see the next episode my Pokemon will be a little bit higher than they are right now S and hopefully my buddy will be evolved please evolve buddy and I'm going to really train my Mr. Slave so anyways um that's it see